Hey everyone, welcome back and happy, well, I guess happy Wednesday. Um, I'm still trying to figure out where we are in the week. I thought it was Thursday, then I thought it was Friday. A lot of things that I've thought, and they have not been true. Um, well, guys, you can obviously see that. How are you doing? Not well, bitch. That's how I'm doing. Um, no, I'm kidding. Um, I'm going to keep you guys posted on everything else. But in the meantime, tomorrow we will be live with Ashley from Taste of Reality. I am so sorry that we didn't go live today. We have a lot of things going on. And I just was not able to do that, especially with packing and all of the other shit. But I will keep you guys posted as to how everything else is going to unfold. But I'm leaving for Salt Lake City tomorrow. So in the meantime, smash the like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and let's jump right in. All right, guys, before we get into the Jacks and Tom Schwartz of it all, well, thank you to Reality Blur, but is the Real Housewives of Dubai returning? to Bravo for a third season. According to a new report, the answer is yes. Now, just weeks after season two came to an end with a two-part reunion special, an insider has revealed that despite low ratings and rumors of a potential cancellation, the reality series will be back for new episodes, but without one of its season two stars. I'm excited to hear that The Real Housewives of Dubai is allegedly returning for a third season is what Marcus White, also known as Mr. Housewives announced on Instagram on October 20th. While nothing has been officially confirmed, it looks like all of the women from season two will return. So as Dubai fans will recall, Chanel Ayan, Caroline Sanberry, Caroline Brooks, Sarah Almadani, Lisa Milan, Talene, Marie, um, and also Saba, Yusuf, who starred in a friend role, yeah, that's the cast. But continuing on, Mr. Housewives revealed that Saba has allegedly been fired. Honestly, she barely had any screen time, so it's no surprise. Whether it was due to production decisions or just a lack of interest, it didn't seem like she added much to the show. But as for when production on the new episodes will begin, it was noted that early 2025 was plausible. And after The Real Housewives of Dubai Season 3 was mentioned on X, formerly known as Twitter, a couple of fans proclaimed that they did not want to see Caroline Brooks on the show, which got the attention, it got the attention of Caroline. Hopefully some cast shakeups. No Lisa and Brooks, more Arab women and, women and more friends up. Listen, bravo is what one person wrote. And Caroline replied, go fuck yourself. If you don't like it, don't watch. Then when another person said, hopefully no Brooks, she again said, go Fuck yourself. Bravo has not yet officially confirmed the Real Housewives of Dubai, nor has it commented on the latest casting report. But I do want to say this. Um, if you're going to go after Caroline Brooks or any of the women, especially this group of women, they're going to clap back at you. So any of the fans who are like, oh, my God, I said something to Caroline Brooks and she told me to go fuck myself. Yeah, what the fuck do you think she's going to say? She's going to say, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. That's absolutely what she's going to say. She's not going to sit there and be like, <laughs> you guys are trying to get me fired. Oh, you're so sweet. Abigail, is that your name? Abigail. Oh, oh, Abigail, you're so nice. Nobody's doing that shit. Especially not one of the Real Housewives of Dubai. So... At the end of the day, what I'm hoping for is, and I asked one of the Real Housewives of Dubai. Now, a lot of people were talking about the TV Deets ratings and the ratings not being so strong, which is absolutely true. The ratings were not very, very strong um, when it came to what was being shown on the TV, like for cable. However, what I heard was that the streaming numbers were a lot stronger. But a lot of people now at this point too, and I'm even one of them. If I have something to do the night before, then I will not go back and watch it on Hulu. I won't watch the show on Hulu. I won't watch the show uh, mainstream cable. What I'll do is I will just find it on 
Peacock the next day and I will stream it because then I don't have to deal with the ads. So it's true. I can see where that would be a little bit of a thing. Anyways, I think that everybody should return. I think that Saba should not return. I feel like she would be the worst person to have back on our screens only because of her awkward relationship with Sarah Amadani. And Sarah Amadani is obviously an OG of the show. And Sarah Amadani deserves more respect than Saba. Especially when Sarah Almondani was the one who brought Saba on. So for Saba, we're going to love you. We're going to leave you. We're going to say, and you got to, got to, got to, got to get away. Give a little respect. And get the f*** out, Saba. I think we're okay with that. But hold on. We're not done. We got to get to this. So. Thank you to Taste of Reality. Jax Taylor and Tom Schwartz are seemingly entangled with the same scam company Teresa Judice works with. Now, the Valley and Vanderpump Rules stars shared information on how to get rich quickly by simply giving your banking information to strangers online. Are they dumb? Yeah, that's... a loaded question. The controversial Real Housewives in New Jersey star met with skepticism and judgment when her fans dragged her for promoting an obvious scam to her followers. It was only days before Tweedledee and Tweedledum were in on the swindling of the Bravo TV fans. So a PSA compliments of the pink pop box. The Instagram creator began their statement with a warning. Do not click on any link for these people in order to be entered into this said sweep sweep stakes sweepstakes you have to enter your information and put your bank information by that i mean your name your address your phone number your account number to your bank account and then you entered in and then it's a list of services to help you plan your financial future mm in which you have to give more of your personal information. Do not click these links. Do not be that stupid. This is clickbait. It's data information gathering. If you go there with your phone, you're giving them your phone's IP address, your location, and your data. Don't do it. All you have to do is look these people up on the Better Business Bureau. They have an unsavory rep reputation. I'm just doing this because I see this every day where people click on these links. Their information is compromised and then bad things happen. Please don't do it. And if you're wondering why they're doing this, that is that every time that they do this, they get a click and they get a paycheck. It's mostly like maybe 10 or $5 a click, but with as many Bravo fans as they have, it adds up. So don't do it. Don't compromise yourself because they tell you to. Now, Jax's pitch for the internet scam, the middle-aged man who is mid-divorced in custody arrangements claimed he did his research in order to bring you the following information. If you won $50,000 tomorrow, what would you do with that money? Comment below because I'm curious. I've been using at work money org and wanted to share it with you. It's a free platform offering amazing resources to anyone wanting to learn how to save money. And they're offering $50,000 to a lucky winner that signs up today. Now, Tom Schwartz is on the scam too. What are you doing if you woke up what are you doing if you woke up to $50,000 richer? Are you getting T-bones or T-bonds? What are you naming your bar? Careful now. Become a hashtag work money member for free. Gain access to a wealth of financial tools that can help you save and sign up to win $50,000 at the link in my bio. Boom. All right, guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. Pop off in the comment section, please. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and we'll see you in just a little bit. Love you guys.